Now we move on to normal distribution, which is a very important distribution used in statistics. Okay, it is a continuous uh, distribution. That is the random variable x following normal distribution is a continuous random variable. It is the most important distribution in, used in statistics. A continuous random variable x is set to follow normal distribution with parameters mu and sigma square. Okay, that is x follows normal mu sigma square if f of x equal to 1 by sigma root of 2 pi e raised to minus 1 by 2 x minus mu by sigma whole square. That is f of x equal to 1 by sigma root of 2 pi e raised to minus 1 by 2 x minus mu by sigma whole square minus infinity less than x less than infinity minus infinity less than mu less than infinity sigma greater than 0. The two parameters mu and sigma square are the parameters of normal distribution. The two constants mu and sigma square are the two parameters of normal distribution. Okay. Mu is the mean and sigma square is the variance. We will prove it. Mu is the mean and sigma square is the variance of normal distribution. Okay. The important property of normal distribution is that it is symmetric at x equal to mu. And the curve can be displayed as this is the normal curve which is symmetric at x equal to mu. So the probability x less than or equal to mu equal to probability x greater than or equal to mu equal to 1 by 2. Normal distribution is symmetric at x equal to mu. Now we move on to the properties of normal distribution. Firstly, we prove the result for normal distribution mean equal to median equal to mode equal to mu. Okay, so that, so that we consider the normal distribution the PDF and we um, prove the result mean equal to median equal to mode equal to mu for normal distribution. Mean equal to median equal to mode equal to mu. Okay. Firstly, the part is mean, mean. We find the mean of normal distribution. So that we have the f of x as 1 by sigma root of 2 pi e raised to minus 1 by 2 uh, uh, x minus mu by sigma whole square. So mean equal to expectation of x. Okay, that is equal to integral over x, x, f of x dx. That is mean equal to integral minus infinity to infinity x into f of x is 1 by sigma root of 2 pi e raised to minus 1 by 2 x minus mu by sigma whole square. Let me write mean equal to Integral minus infinity to infinity x into 1 by sigma root of 2 pi e raised to minus 1 by 2 x minus mu by sigma whole square dx. Now the next step is we substitute x minus mu by sigma as equal to z. Okay. So that let z equal to x minus mu by sigma which implies x equal to, here we need x. So, x equal to mu plus sigma z. 
therefore we get dx we we want uh, the substitution for dx so dx becomes sigma dz now we change the variable x to the variable z so that we want the limit of uh, z that is as z is x minus mu by sigma uh, we get uh, minus infinity less than z less than infinity when we write x equal to minus infinity we get uh, z also equal to minus infinity and when we put x equal to plus infinity we get z equal to plus infinity that is we get the limit of z as minus infinity to plus infinity therefore we get mean that is mean which is equal to expectation of x that is mean that is expectation of x equal to what is it integral minus infinity to infinity mu plus sigma is it into 1 by sigma root of 2 pi e raised to minus z square by 2 sigma t z so that sigma cancels okay that is this becomes we can take 1 by root of 2 pi as a whole outside into we split this as 2 integral that is mu into integral minus infinity to infinity e raised to minus x square by 2 dz plus integral sigma into integral minus infinity to infinity z e raised to minus x square by 2 dz okay this uh, this is split to 2 integral now we get what is it that is we now we use the uh, two important results we apply integral minus infinity to infinity e raised to minus a x square dx as equal to root of pi by e integral minus infinity to infinity e raised to minus a x square dx as equal to root of pi by a and the second integral is an odd function of z and hence it becomes equal to 0 that is we get expectation of x equal to 1 by root of 2 pi into mu into e raised to a here it is integral e raised to minus z square by 2 dz so that applying this result we can write this as into root of pi by 1 by 2 okay root of pi by 1 by 2 plus sigma into 0 since the second integral since the second integral is an odd function of z is an odd function of z Okay, that is we get, that is expectation of x equal to 1 by root of 2 pi into mu into root of 2 pi equal to mu. That is, we have obtained the result expectation of x equal to mu. Okay, expectation of x equal to mu. Now, we obtain the median and the mode of the normal distribution. We use, we, now we consider certain important results, important results that we have to apply in this integration parts, okay, important results. That is, first one is integral 0 to infinity x raised to m minus 1 e raised to minus ax dx equal to gamma m by a raised to m. When a equal to 1, we get integral 0 to infinity x raised to m minus 1 e raised to minus x dx equal to gamma m. Okay? And gamma m can be written as m minus 1 into gamma m minus 1 which is the recurrenceation for gamma integrals recurrenceation okay and if m is a positive integer 
If m is a positive integer, gamma m equal to, let me write, if m is a positive integer, gamma m equal to m minus 1 factorial, gamma half equal to root pi. And integral minus infinity to infinity. Let me write here. Integral minus infinity to infinity. E raised to minus e x square dx equal to root of pi by e. And integral minus infinity to infinity f of x dx equal to 0 if f of x is an odd function of x. Is an odd function of x. That is if f of minus x equal to minus f of x. The property is called odd function. Okay. The next is integral minus infinity to infinity f of x dx equal to 2 into integral 0 to infinity f of x dx if f of x is an even function of x. Even function of x that is if f of minus x that is if f of minus x equal to f of x itself. Okay. These properties are to be used in the following topics. Okay. So, now we move on to the median. The median of any distribution is that point which divides the total area to two equal parts. Okay. So that let us consider M as the median of normal distribution. Let M be the median of normal distribution. So that we have the result probability x less than or equal to m equal to probability x greater than or equal to m equal to 1 by 2. Equal to 1 by 2. So let us consider probability x less than or equal to m equal to 1 by 2. That is integral, that is integral minus infinity to m f of x dx equal to 1 by 2. Okay, since normal distribution is, since normal distribution is symmetric, since normal distribution is symmetric, at x equal to mu, Integral minus infinity to mu f of x dx equal to integral mu to infinity f of x dx equal to 1 by 2. That is we get, that is we get median equal to mu. That is median m equal to mu. Okay, hence we have the two results mean equal to mu and median equal to mu. Now we move on to mode. Mode of a distribution is that value of x for which f of x is maximum. Okay, mode of normal distribution. Mode is that value Mode is that value of x for which f of x is maximum. For which f of x is maximum. Okay. And we have f of x as equal to that is that is the two equations uh, the two equations to obtain mode are f dash x equal to 0 and f double dash x less than 0. 
we have to solve this we have to solve this once now f of x is as x follows normal we have sigma square f of x is 1 by sigma root of 2 pi e raised to minus 1 by 2 x minus made by sigma whole square okay so that f dash x equal to 0 implies f dash x equal to 0 implies what, what happens 1 by sigma root of 2 pi the constant into e raised to minus 1 by 2 x minus mu by sigma whole square into okay minus 1 by 2 into 2 into x minus mu by sigma into 1 by sigma equal to 0. Okay. 1 by sigma root of 2 pi the constant into e raised to minus 1 by 2 into x minus mu by sigma whole square into the derivative of this term. So, minus 1 by 2 into 2 into x minus mu by sigma into 1 by sigma equal to 0. Which implies that is what happens. What happens 1 by sigma. Uh, this is f of x no. f of x into. Okay. 2 cancels. So, into f of x into minus 1 by sigma square into x minus mu equal to 0. Okay. As this term cannot be 0, we have the which implies x minus mu equal to 0 which implies x equal to mu. Which implies x equal to mu. We can show that f double dash x. We can show that f double dash is at x equal to mu is less than 0. That is mod equal to mu. Hence, we have the very important this, uh, property that is for normal distribution mean equal to median equal to mod equal to mu. Mean equal to, median equal to, mode equal to, mu. Okay? Okay, thank you.